When first receiving your quick rinse system, inspect the box for shipping damage. Next, open the box, unpacking and accounting for the following documented contents. Power cord. Power supply. Quick rinse unit. Bottle with bottle cap. Accompanying tubing and connectors. Accessories pack consisting of lure adapters, miscellaneous nozzles, and wire brush. If you purchase the optional foot pedal, that will be packaged as well. Setting up the quick rinse system can be covered in six simple steps. But first, place the unit and parts on a flat surface near an appropriate electrical outlet and make sure to place within reasonable distance to a sink or drain system. Now would be a good time to place the cleaning brush alongside the container in the appropriate storing compartment on the top panel. Then, place the nozzles and adapters into the storage compartment also on the top panel. The first step requires setting up the unit power. Take the power supply provided with the unit and plug it into the back of the quick rinse system, making sure the plug is fully engaged. Now, plug the power supply into the hospital grade power cord, which is also provided. Then, plug the power cord into a grounded wall outlet. For the second step, we are going to fill and connect the rinse fluid container. The most common fluid used is distilled water, but sterile water or even fluid with a mild disinfectant can be used as well. It is best to check with your supervisor or infection control committee to determine what is your facility's protocol. First, fill the container with either sterile or distilled water, making sure to leave one inch of space from the bottom of the bottleneck. Now, screw on the fluid container cap and place the container into the well location on the top panel of the unit. Make sure to position the container so that the metal quick disconnect fitting faces to the rear of the unit. Next, take the green air supply tubing provided with your unit and connect it to the metal female connector on the fluid container cap. Make sure you hear a click to ensure the connection is secure. The third step completes the green air supply line connection. Take the white elbow connector attached to the end of the green air supply line and click it into the air out connection on the back of the unit. It is important to remember that the green air supply line must be in place before operating the quick rinse system. Otherwise, pressure will not build in the container. Step four. Take the dual lumen air and fluid tubing provided with your unit and connect it to the white female plastic fitting on the fluid container cap. Again, make sure you hear a click to ensure connection is secure. Now, look to the front of the unit where you will see a fluid and an air valve. Take the clear line and insert it into the air valve and insert the blue tubing line into the fluid pinch valve. Step five is for connection of the optional foot pedal. If you did not purchase the optional foot pedal, you may skip to step six. If you have purchased the optional foot pedal, take the foot pedal connector and plug it into the back of the quick rinse into the female connector labeled foot pedal. After connecting, place the foot pedal on the floor in a location which is convenient for use. The sixth and final step requires powering the unit. Press the power switch on the rear panel of the quick rinse to the on position in order to turn on the unit. This concludes the setup for your quick rinse automated instrument rinse system. It is now ready for operation. When operating the quick rinse unit, there are two modes, the automated cycle and the manual mode. First, we will go through the automated cycle, then manual mode, followed by operating the optional foot pedal. 
To start the automated cycle, first connect the instrument interface tube to the item to be rinsed. Make sure tubing is securely gripping the item to be rinsed. The automated cycle is a 30-second cycle, consisting of a 15-second fluid cycle and a 15-second air cycle. To start the automated cycle, press the green cycle button once to begin the automated rinse cycle. The amber light above the fluid valve will light up, indicating that the valve is open. After 15 seconds, the unit will close the fluid valve and then open the air valve. The amber light above the air valve will now be illuminated. After 15 more seconds, the air valve will close and both amber lights will be turned off. You can press the stop button any time during the automatic cycle to stop the cycle. This also resets the cycle when pressing the cycle button. This completes the automatic cycle. Now, inspect the rinsed item for cleanliness before sending to autoclave. If you have more than one item to be rinsed, reconnect the instrument interface tubing to the next item or channel. To begin the manual mode, first connect the instrument interface tube to the item to be rinsed. Make sure tubing is securely gripping the item to be rinsed. To enter manual mode, First, press the cycle button once to begin the automatic rinse cycle. At any time during the automatic cycle, press the cycle button a second time to enter the manual mode. You will notice that the cycle button will begin to flash when entered into manual mode. While in manual mode, the user can alternate between fluid and air by pressing the cycle button. The amber light above the open valve will illuminate. To end the manual mode, Press the stop button. The cycle button will stop flashing and the unit will reset for the next use. If no buttons are pressed during the manual mode, it will time out after one minute. A helpful hint when rinsing items with small lumens or orifices is to use the manual mode, activating the fluid cycle for one to two seconds, followed by using the air cycle until the item is clear of fluid. Now inspect the rinsed item for cleanliness before sending to autoclave. If you have more than one item to be rinsed, reconnect the instrument interface tubing to the next item or channel. This final section of unit operation is to show the use of the optional foot pedal accessory. Similar to the previous modes, first connect the instrument interface tube to the item to be rinsed. Make sure tubing is securely gripping the item to be rinsed. Before operating the quick rinse system with the optional foot pedal accessory, notice that the foot pedal is comprised of two foot switches. The left hand switch controls the fluid valve and the right hand switch controls the air valve. To operate the quick rinse using the foot pedal, press and hold the desired foot pedal switch, either fluid or air. The pump will run and the appropriate valve will remain open as long as the foot switch is in the depressed position. You may alternate between fluid and air by pressing the appropriate foot switch. Release the switch to close the valve. This will turn off the pump and reset the unit. Now inspect the rinsed item for cleanliness before sending to autoclave. If you have more than one item to be rinsed, reconnect the instrument interface tubing to the next item or channel. The unit operation instructions are now complete. To refill the fluid container, disconnect the green air supply tubing from the fluid container cap to release any remaining pressure in the system and to avoid spilling excess fluid. Next, disconnect the air and fluid tubing from the white plastic fitting on the fluid container cap. Remove the fluid container cap by turning counterclockwise. Fill the fluid container with the distilled or sterile water making sure to leave one inch of space from the bottom of the bottle cap to ensure proper operation. Screw back on the fluid container cap, placing the fluid container back in the well and reconnecting the tubing.
For proper cleaning and storage, there are certain criteria that should be followed upon completion of the workday. Disconnect the green air supply tubing from the rinse fluid container to release any pressure and to make sure there is no air in the system. The rinse fluid container should be emptied completely and let air dry. The tubing circuit should be cleared of any fluid and inspected for cracks or breaks that would lead to loss of pressure. The quick rinse system should be wiped dry of any residual fluids with a soft cloth and warm water.